Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. This video is part of a series highlighting Maximo mobile feature sets. In this video, we'll take a look at a technician performing work. And there's a number of different things that he can do in Maximo Mobile. For example, he could look at the materials and tools from his home page, and he can see all the materials and tools that are um, needed for the assigned work in this case. Or we can focus on My Schedule, and that's what we're going to look at today. So in the My Schedule view, we're going to explore the features that are available to the technician. And these features are going to give him an understanding of the work he needs to perform. So think in the context that the technician hasn't started the work yet, but he needs to gain more information before he starts the particular job. So I'm in the My Schedule application, and on the top, far left-hand side, I can see the different queries I can navigate to, just like we have seen in other Maximo mobile applications. So that's their consistency of functionality within each of the mobile apps. And I can see for the assigned work, he's got 26 work orders. Oh my goodness, lots of things here. But his supervisor had told him about a job he wants him to work on tomorrow. So our technician, whose name is Ellie, is gonna take a look at that work order. It is an electrical control panel, so he's just going to do a search, and here is the specific work order that he had been told about. So let's first explore the card that is displayed. So for this electrical control panel, I can see the status in this gray area on the top. The status of the work order is it's approved, scheduled, and assigned. The electric control panel is the description of the work order. CM is the work type, corrective maintenance. 839061 is the work order number. And then the technician can see that it is due tomorrow. If there was an asset, it would display, but the electrical control panel displays. That's the location description. Now you'll notice he can find out more details by clicking on that white circle over here, but also there's a few icons below the electrical control panel. Let's take a look at those. First is the materials and tools associated to the work order. In this case, he needs some cloth rags. Okay, I'm gonna hit the X again to navigate. I click on the button. Once I gain that information on the top left-hand side, just like you have a back button, I have an X to bring me back home. I can go underneath here to see if there's any work log notes, super helpful. It does look like there is, but I can't read them all. So to fully expand the page, I click on that up and down arrow and the work log is from Rose and Rose notes that Fred noted that there's been problems with the panel door staying closed before. Excellent information. This builds up my repository or my knowledge of the job that I'm going into. Again, I'm going to hit that X to go back. Let's look at the map feature. This shows where the work is located. In this case, it's a, it's a dummy location, but if there was um, a particular field location, it would be connotated here and I would be able to know where that was. But let me go back to our work order here. And I can scroll down and notice I'm clicking in a couple of different ways. And that's what's really great about Maximo Mobile. It's easy to navigate and find out this additional information. Well, here's that white arrow on the far right hand side I was talking about next to the electrical control panel work. Let's click on that to find additional details. Again, I'm building up my knowledge of this work order. Now the blue button on the top right is when I'm ready to start the work order. I'm not going to do that in this particular video. Again, I'm just building up my repository of information. I can see when the work order is scheduled. It's scheduled for September 15th. There's that same map icon I saw before, but underneath it, notice there's a new icon. This is the inspection icon on the far left-hand side. If there's an inspection associated to the work order, I'm going to see the details here. In this case, there is a inspection form. You can see that it's a dummy inspection form that was just added to this work order just to give an example of what that would look like. Again, I'm going to click back. And as I look at this, the other things that I can start to see is next to the inspection icon 
is the task. This is going to list for me the tasks that need to be performed. So in this case, there's five separate tasks, everything from reviewing and taking safety precautions to looking where the blockage is and removing or replacing the door, etc. If I expand any of these tasks, I can see additional information. In this particular particular Maximo mobile environment that I have, I'm actually configured to use another product from the Maximo application suite, the Assist mobile product. So you'll see that Launch Assist in there. If Assist is not enabled, you simply wouldn't see that particular uh, icon. Continuing to scroll there, uh, so our tasks were the second icon in. The next one is where I'm going to go in and report work. If there's a failure, I'm going to define my problem cause remedy and input my labor, materials, and tools used, etc. And then again, clicking on the hamburger icon, the blue icon over here, I can see additional information, things that we've seen before. The first one is the map. The second one is our work log. And the last one is our materials and tools that we've explored. I can continually scroll down to see if there is other information that I need to gain from this work order. If there was, again, more details on the electrical control panel, if there was a picture, for example, associated with it, it would display. But notice here, this is so important. I have three attachments. Again, this user is gaining that information on the work order. He can see he, that there's the install manual, some OSHA requirements, some training requirements. Let's open up the uh, electrical control panel, install guide, and again, this might be super helpful for him if he wants to navigate and see particular areas that he needs to focus on for this unique control panel. So that is some of the gist of a sampling of the powerful features that are available with Maximo Mobile in the My Schedule view, again, for that technician, for that inspector to gain additional information on the job that they're to perform before they start work. So thank you very much.